We keep hearing bleak headlines about melting glaciers, heat waves, and floods. But here's some good news. Many countries are developing national adaptation plans to help communities survive climate change. A nap is, well, yes, it's a nice sleep in the afternoon, but a nap is also a country's game plan for surviving climate change. Using the latest climate science, naps help governments protect what matters most, like food, water, roads, homes, from climate impacts, including heat waves, floods, and rising seas. NAPs are also investment plans, unlocking cash to strengthen economies and people's livelihoods. This way, we ensure that climate adaptation is baked into policies and programs across all levels of government. An example, Nepal. Billions of dollars have been invested in farmers to plant more resilient crops and build stronger irrigation systems. Another example, Zimbabwe public-private partnerships to build resilient infrastructure and funding for climate-smart farming insurance. Ghana installed new weather stations and improved climate modeling. To support NAPS, the United Nations Environment Program is working directly with countries on specific projects and providing technical advice and training to help make sure climate action is powered by science and guided by data. In summary, just like afternoon sleeps, NAPs help everything. National adaptation plans are a way to plan ahead, protect people and nature, and make sure climate action is part of everyday decision making and investment. The question isn't whether nations can afford to invest in a safer, fairer, more climate resilient world. The question is, can they afford not to?